They feel like they've had the best team under his watch. Rolling to the right, throwing on first down, and it's complete out to number seven, Nate Brown. But when he caught it, he was on. He said they hadn't been going as fast as last year under Josh Heifel. Well, they're going really quick right now. Lock with a beautiful spiral, and it's dropped by one of the best receivers in the country, Emmanuel Hall. That's one he rarely lets through. Plenty of time. Beautifully thrown. Toe is tapped on the sideline, and it's a first down by Jalen Knox. Yeah, he laid it right in there, and Nick Cole will be upset because they've got double coverage on that receiver right there. You could see uh, Blackman, he choked. Pace, favor Missouri, give Purdue a little bit more of a challenge. We're going to find out as we go along. For the end zone, once again, it's Hall, and it's incomplete again. That one, the tougher effort, and the defense right there, Antonio, just like last time. Purdue brings four. Pass for the end zone. Batted away. No flags. Fourth down coming up. That time the defense. Well, so far, Jeff Brown's pregame speech has worked. But now Missouri hops back on the offensive end. Deep ball. And there's that man, Emmanuel Hall, with a big time reception. I don't know how Purdue contains this guy. You need help over the top, don't you? Well, that's the third time they've gone after number 14, Antonio Blackman. And every time, Hall's been wide open. Quarterback for Missouri. And once again, all kinds of time for Locke. Hit as he threw it, and it's incomplete. Dangerous there as the pressure was coming from Gio for this snap, third and nine. Locke was looking that way. Now he goes over the middle, caught for the touchdown. Wide open, Jonathan Johnson. 21 yards. I mean, I feel sorry for those guys on the back end for Purdue. You just cannot give this guy that much time. They can't cover those receivers. They're just too good. And you can see, go for the home run. And they have the quarterback and the receivers to go for a home run. Play action to the sideline for Hall. Almost a horse collar. Again, Derek really emphasized to us, we've got to get better at running it. They've only had 3.7 yards per carry coming into this game. Trying to add on to that three-point lead. Lock. Incomplete for Hall. Diedrich Mackey. That's a red. Pocket plane. Lock needs some help. Back to the other pylon, but it's over the head of Nate Brown. Just a little. Off the play fake. Lock incomplete in front of Jonathan Johnson. Good blitz. They'll bring four. He's going to be short. It was caught by Albert Okue Bunam, but he is 10 play. The way they operate it, it sure looks like it, but normally not in that long a yardage. Incomplete. Hall had Mackey draped all over him. Go. And really see the elements of that in Missouri's offense this year. Demaria Crockett. Wow, that's wide open. Jalen Knox on the pass from Drew Locke. 59 yards to the house. Yeah, there's nobody because I can't tell you what the free safety's doing. He got looked off by the quarterback, and you can see he's nowhere to be found in the middle of the field. Result is a touchdown. Great job by the team yards as a unit on the ground for Missouri. This time they'll go back to the air. Nice move by Jalen Knox, who had the touchdown earlier. A little shake and bake into Purdue territory. Picks up his first penalty. Lock gets that penalty yardage and one more right back. Could this be four down territory? Might depend on what they do here. Incomplete. Broken up by Jacob Thieneman. Drew Locke. And it's caught by Jonathan Johnson. First 
Justin. Yeah, Barry Odom's fired up, and Nick Hall can't believe it because he looks like he's got good coverage. They'll be complaining that the receiver shoved the guy by. They had double coverage. Here comes the safety. Ball's through Lock. And Lock will throw. Going for his tight end. And he's got it in the end zone. Alberto Kue Bunam with his second touchdown of the country. Yeah, and we talked to Derek Dooley about their tight ends. He says, yeah, I love to do it as a changeup. Keep the defense honest. Balance as far as an attack, and they're going to overplay the receivers outside. We our coaches were talking about what a nice change of pace it's been so far this season. And they go to the tight end who had the touchdown earlier, Okue Buna. Drew Lock already at 238 yards passing, and that went a little wide of Nate Brown. Don't forget to do the same. It's going to result in a reception to Nate Brown across the 50. A pass for 16. Drew Locke has plenty of weapons. The senior again with all kinds of time. That one out of bounds. That's the other tight end, Kendall Blanton. Second. So Purdue struggling to get any pressure. That O-line for Missouri has been strong. Down inside the 40. There is the first catch of the game for Kendall Blanton. They went right back to him. Rush to three. <laughs> and they get a little bit closer. Third time in a row that Locke has gone after the redshirt senior tight end. Blake. Bump and run. Man free. And he's going to go deep because of that. And a little too hot out of the right hand in the direction of Jalen Knox. Two seconds left. Once again, Locke, all kinds of time. Is that interference? No. I was wondering if Devon Mosley got there. A little pitch and catch. Jalen Knox, they'll still have a couple to deal with on third down. You know, here's the dilemma. They're keeping their foot on the gas is this Missouri offense. Well, it was trips left side, but instead, Drew Locke fakes everybody, keeps it himself, and runs it right up the middle into the end zone. We're on the naked, too. We're going to go play for play, and this works extremely well when you got the running game going. Defenders will overplay the run. Quarterback pulls around the 50. And Drew Locke goes back to work. And back to his tight end, Okue Bunov. And a flag comes in. Lock going for the end zone. No. Good defense. Antonio Blackman that time breaking it up from him. Really has been held in check. Lock. Short of the sticks. Brown caught it. But he was shoved out in a hurry. Off play action. Quick hitter out. Nate Brown. Tackle by Kenneth Major. He was right there. Step for step. Done it both on the ground and via the passing game. Pressure. And Locke had to get rid of it. Derek Barnes took him down. And we've got a flag. Intentional downing, I think. Intentional grounding. Offense. Number three. The ball back 26 yards is a long way. They just throw a quick hitter out to Jonathan Johnson. Nothing there. Cornell Jones with us to turn over. They struggled with that last year. They've been great at ball security this season. And another good pass from Locke to Nate Brown. Lost pass to Cleve Brown. We talked about Roundtree has given them something to smile about here this evening. Back to the tight end. That's first down yardage for Albert Okue Buna. Before he's dropped by Devon Mosley. Gain a and Nick Holt said needs to step up on the defensive line. And now second and 13 and wide open round tree in the flat. So he gets quite a bit back as he's all the way to the. Lock lost the football. Picks up 
picks it up and throws it incomplete. But disaster. Remember, Drew Locke does not have his big target out there, Emmanuel Sanders. Buying time, and it's picked! Kenneth Major with the interception! The first in 82 career passing touchdowns, seventh in SEC history. Batted at the line, knocked down. Getting a hand on it that time, Anthony Watts. Ten yards. Purdue has done it all through the air. Lock. Stepping up. Somehow stayed on his feet and got it out wide to Beatty. What a play by Drew Locke. And Beatty takes it to the 45 for a game. Locke. And back in the game is Emmanuel Hall. He had sat out for four straight drives, and now he's taking it inside the 15. They've got the right stuff. they got the right attitude. All the action to the right, and that's because they're just going to take Drew Locke to the middle of the field to get him positioned for that game-winning field goal. 